What's up everyone? I'm finally doing the last countertop in my kitchen. Just wanted to do a quick video to show the process. I start with the bottom side facing up and sand the edges with 220 grit. Generally, one side will be a little rougher and might have some defects. From the factory, the bottom was probably only sanded to about 100 grit, but that will be fine. Next I use an eighth inch roundover bit to remove the sharp edges. I use the same bit to do the corners. I use a piece of 220 grit sandpaper to smooth everything out by hand. It's important to get off as much dust as possible. I blow everything off and come back with a lint-free rag later. For the finish, I use this simple finish from Maker Brand. I've used it on other countertops and it holds up really well. It's super easy to apply, non-toxic, and smells great. I'm not sponsored by them. I pay the same price as everybody else. I just really like this stuff and haven't found a better option for projects like this. I always finish the bottom before worrying about doing anything to the top. I use a squeegee to spread a thick coat over the whole surface. This will soak into the wood. You'll probably notice that the end grain sucks up a lot of this. Keep spreading it over any dry areas. I let it sit for about 30 minutes before wiping it off with a rag. It's a good idea to let this dry for about a day, but I'm in a hurry, so I flipped it over and got to work on the top. I wanted something a little fancier for the top corner, so I'm using a Roman OG router bit. If you have a router that allows you to hook up a dust collector, it's a good idea to use one. Same goes for your sander. I cut this profile in two passes and take extra care in the corner to make sure I don't get any chip out. I actually cut the last inch or so by pulling the router towards me. You could also clamp on a piece of scrap wood to the edge and continue the cut into that if you prefer. I only do this to the corners that aren't against anything, like the wall or oven. Next I do a little more hand sanding until everything feels smooth to the touch. The top side is pretty smooth from the factory, but I still like to sand it. I mark it with a pencil and use 220 grit on my random orbital sander to slowly remove it. As you can see, I work in a methodical pattern and keep my movement speed consistent. This will guarantee that you don't sand any waves into your countertop. Each pass overlaps the previous by about half the diameter of the sanding pad. I could still see a very faint pencil line over the whole surface, so I made another pass after this one. I take extra care to get off as much dust as possible. This finish is a little more forgiving, but I still don't want any dust clogging the grain of the wood. I let this coat sit a little longer because I got busy doing other stuff, maybe about an hour and a half. I use the same method to remove the excess. I haven't found it necessary to do any additional coats, but if you do have any dry spots, it's a good idea to touch them up now. This is going to feel oily for a couple days. I usually install them the next day and just tell people they're off limits for a few more days. It will be necessary to recoat from time to time. I built my kitchen about eight months ago and it's starting to show a little wear around the sink. Once a year is probably a safe bet. The good thing is it's just as easy to recoat as it was to apply the first time. I'll just scuff up the surface with a fine Scotch-Brite pad first. I think I pretty much covered everything. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. If this helped you out, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing if you're new. I do all sorts of videos related to making. Until next time, here's a few more that YouTube thinks you might like.